gents. Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to our time on the couch tonight. Uh, this is the after party, right? <laughs> after the NTA, the candidates uh, event tonight, uh, you know, we appreciate your comments, your criticism, and uh, uh, you know, advice after what happened tonight. Uh, but I just want to introduce to you the gentleman that made all the inspiration happen tonight. You know, Duncan Mighty is to my left. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Sega Abosanya, Sega Link. You know, <laughs> in Africa, China. Yeah. <laughs> to let you guys know that we all decided to come together because we want to take our country back, you know, and there is no looking back. That is why they all came to support tonight and uh, we just want to let you see them, hear from them a little bit and, uh, you know, uh, you can ask questions. You may not be able to get uh, your answers tonight because it's late and uh, people want to go back to sleep, but we appreciate all of your support. We heard that NTA messed uh, up uh, yeah, the, the broadcast, the audio, because we're saying some pretty huge stuff, you know, uh, and they didn't want you to hear that. But we'll get to you the original content uh, by tomorrow. I think it's going to be live stream online for those of you that have missed. If you missed the event, uh, don't worry, we'll be back to you. But uh, thank you so much, Duncan. Uh, if you would like to hear from you what you thought about tonight. Um, thank you very much. Because you've always pushed me, like, you know, go out there, you know. <laughs> Appreciate so much. Um, like, like from the outside, I must say, I like your drive. I love what you're doing. Um, but what, what, what happened today should let you know the reason why I wanted to be Mr. President. Um, for me, it's not about the party angle. That these are the things I've seen in you. That when you become a president of this nation, things like this shouldn't be happening. Um, like in Nigeria today, um, people go on media. Everyone want to say what you want to say. There's no law behind anything like. The last time you were in Channels TV, yes. you know, look at what it did. Yeah, they, they, they you know, did the same to scramble the, the so, last so, uh, um, so broadcast. You all need to understand that um, um, this is this is how it happens in Nigeria, mm. and the reason why it should be done properly is because we have not. Uh, we need to have a president like you. Um, but my advice is this: uh, we cannot, you know, be looking at things like this happen and happen and happen over and over. It's high time we Nigerians need to tell ourselves the truth, especially at the poll, to you know, to take what belongs to us. At the end of the day, let me tell you whether you like it or not, Nigeria is mine and Nigeria is yours. So yep. whatever happened to our nation is still relies in our hands. And I, I like telling people the future tomorrow, tomorrow is is now. I don't know about when, whenever you want the future to come. Um, to NTA. NTA, NTA, make an advice on me. I'm gonna just try. I'm gonna repent. Give my life to God. You understand? <laughs> they need to give their life to Christ. <laughs> Jesus is the only way. Man. God loves us. But people try to fear God. You don't understand because at the end of the day, what's happening today in our TV concerning when things going want to happen. So that means, you know, if I don't come to good tomorrow, like I come to do, like it's not nice. You understand? So. Um, God bless you. That doesn't. That that shouldn't also discourage. No, you didn't you. take anything um, away but, from but, that. But that's that's yes, Mr. President. Uh, please, 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 please. It is high time you put a proper TV agenda in our nation. Yes. Television, don't make us. I see that old thing. Yeah. One of great. So I'm not going to do this guy tonight. <laughs> and one more thing, Duncan Mighty is the number one fan of Soul Ray. Woo! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Number one fan. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. From the first day I saw what you were doing, I didn't even believe at the time my brother was campaigning. You were there like back to back, and whether we like it or not, I realize one major power of our democracy to realize our life or not. Yes. You know what? I like what you're doing, but <coughs> don't forget, don't forget, Nigerians have suffered the whole lot. Yeah. Nigerians have passed through a whole lot. Whatever you're doing, and I want to say something today. 
it, it does not really matter about um, um, the election. It does not really matter about the, the, the nation, but it matters about the individuals in this nation. It is high time we should realize that even if we're not having election coming close, this is what we should see our country as. This is what we should see this nation as. We as individuals should become nation builders who aside our different businesses, we should come together and look for how we can be able to put Nigeria together, support each other, you know, see ourselves doing better. And all that's gonna come in short time. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Well, Sega, thank you so much. Uh, you had you asked the question and we actually didn't get to it because uh, it was uh, we didn't have time. But uh, I appreciate your presence and I know that you are out there doing a lot. You know, uh, Sega is the person who started the uh, NSAS. You know, whoa. yeah, this is the guy who started the NSAS. Whoa, whoa. So. Please, you're not about Sorry, sorry to cut you. Yeah. You, see, you, see, you see what we're talking about. Quality people. It is, it is high time we should speak up. We, it is high time. And, see, if, and if, funny enough, yeah. a whole lot of youths don't even know they that. They don't even know. Yeah. This, yeah. this, this, this man is the is brain the behind the life. The life. You you stuff. So, because I, 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 I was a victim. Yeah. Too, yeah. You yeah. see, so. like, like today in Port Harcourt, I'm building a TV station. I'm, I'm spending over 780 million naira, no sponsor. And some people are saying, No, can I see why you know and our government? I say, Look, the reason why the industry is not working in the south side is not because we don't have artists or we don't have a record label. There is no media projecting us, yeah. there is no TV projecting our music. Mm -hmm. Before you go play, that's go Lagos mm -hmm. or go, go play your music. So, if we as the celebrities, the musicians, don't invest our money to build that television. Who is going to do it for us? These politicians are busy spending money when there is an election. Mm -hmm. You understand? So um, I cannot be praying, God, use this governor, BTV for us. God, use me. Mm. Be television, my wow. So that's why right. so Nigeria belongs to all of us. Now, all of us get Nigeria. Yeah. Shall I know they cry? Shall I they cry and 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 they cry? And they cry. You too, you go feel cry. No, we war won't fight. No, no one kill anybody. No, God give us different, different ideas to make things work. And I know this time around you don't work. We say, hey, 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 see? Take it back. Take it back. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, so All right, man. So, Sega, just, uh, you know, just tell our people how you felt tonight, you know. Um, okay. You know, Thank you for uh, having me on the Very program. critical. <laughs> yeah, and um, I just want to say that um, I'm really proud of my brother here. I've been, we've been together for a very long time and when he came back into the country to share the vision I think I'm one of the first set of people you told made, that's right. yeah, yes, that you are yeah, running for president I said look, anything that you are in, I'm in because we're in the business of fighting injustice yes. and whether we fight it through political offices whether we fight it individually from where we stand whether we fight it on, the bar, on, the front, on our balconies if the bottom line is that we are fighting. Fight so, and, and for you, it's a win. It's a win because it's not just winning an ele about winning an election. It's about showing the world what you stand for. Yeah. Showing the, the world where you're putting your money at. Yeah. Showing the world that you're putting your mouth where your money is. Or your money where your mouth is. Showing the world that you are ready to die for what you believe in. And you've been doing it, you've been taking a lot of risk from Elia F. Elia yeah, finished. Exactly. You know, so, you know, before we even knew what SARS was, you have already experienced no, I, SARS. Yeah. You know, I, so that's I was so, picked up by SARS in 1998. <laughs> I imagine. Yes. You know, so, so these things have been happening and, and there's no coincidence. God knows how to orchestrate things. Yes. So when people tell me somebody cannot do something, I'll tell you, you are not God. Yes. You know, you cannot say somebody cannot do something. When they said your order will not debate, I said you are not the media. We are the media. Yes, and so you cannot tell us what we can or we cannot do. Yes. When we went to Unilab to say, okay, we're going to do something on housing and whatever, and then the intellectuals came and said, no, your order will not come. I said, your order is not coming, I'm not involved. Wow. Yes, and if your order is not coming, this is not going to happen because at the end of 
then you have a, an empty hall. Yes, and sir. if we are not involved, no politicians will listen yes, to you. you. Nobody right. will break their campaign mm -hmm. because a union life professor wants to speak to them. They won't come. Yeah. You know, but when we put our voice in, because of the integrity we have built with the power of God that is strengthening us, people will come and then show what two will be there regardless of what if as if union life is genuinely standing or, or standing for nigeria and standing for nigeria of the future standing for nigeria of today and of, of generations to come they will contribute to nation building mm -hmm. by opening their doors and forgetting whatever prejudices they may have yeah, yeah. and making sure it happens and genuinely speaking these people were they are enlightened people and they proved it was that look, they are enlightened they accepted all the arguments and they opened their doors and that day was fantastic Fantastic, yeah it was it was it, it, in fact it was one of the best you know outings Brazilian, ever yeah. and now today again history repeats itself yes, yeah. you know we had a wonderful time at nta you know they that's why the fact that some people think that they can be smart mm -hmm. you know in new school went out there and we're all here enjoying and bathing in that euphoria of look we have passed a message across and it continues to go on whether election is it turns out to be a win or not the movement gets stronger mm -hmm. now nobody will say they don't know who should wear Nobody will say they don't and know the raise a force. And you know what I said to them when they asked if I'll concede? Yes, if I lose. because if the election, if the yeah. election is free and fair, free and fair. Free and there's fair. no way we can lose yes. a free and fair election to these guys. You know, it's not so, possible. So, so that's the thing. So, we continue to stay strong, continue to fight for justice for Nigerians because you are not fighting for yourself. Absolutely. You know, and I've said it in coalition sittings. I've said it everywhere that when it comes to people who are actually out for service. I can speak for you. Yeah. I can speak of Fela Drutoye, who will stand by you if you become president of You understand? So, and I know, and I, I, I know, you know, so, so <laughs> we know where we are from, and we know where we are coming from. So, so there is no, there is nobody, and nothing can intimidate anybody. And that's why one of the reasons why we all know where our strengths are, and we have all been doing all that we can to ensure that we exert our energy and we apply ourselves in places where. We know that at the end of the day, generations to come will talk about it. Generations to come will build on the foundation that we have laid down. I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate your tenacity. I appreciate the fact that you are giving it all it takes. And there are millions of people who are who enjoy what you're doing and who are following your footsteps. Nigerians lack role models. Yeah. And you're, 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 you're putting yourself out there, you know, to show that you are a worthy role model. You are showing with, you are showing that with your consistency you are showing that with the with your energy you are showing that with your integrity you are showing that with your transparency you are showing that with your accountability and yeah. we really really love what you're doing which is why i can cut out anything that i'm doing and be there by the side really, and really you know, support you regardless of when, what anybody has to say yes, I, I don't hide my feelings i don't hide where i stand and i always <laughs> let people know because i don't seek validation from of outside course. from within and I want the best for my country. I want the best you, for the country. You have a line on Twitter that I love, you know, when people attack you, you say you are probably nailed here. Otherwise yeah. you will know that well, yes. I don't well, seek validation from, from anybody. anybody. Yeah, there's no there's no point. Yeah. Because this is where I stand and this anybody who cares about what I stand for will realize that look, this guy is not about the politics or anything. Yeah. I'm about the future of this country. A time will come when we will not be able to jump around like this. Yeah. What will now happen? Yeah, exactly. What will now happen? The children of Tinubus will be pushing us all around. Yes. You know, at our, you know. So we don't want all those things to happen. That's why we're building generations to come and serving as role models for them. And very soon, in the next few days, you will see people from United Nations, people yeah. from America, people from all over the world yeah. coming to Nigeria to begin to align themselves yeah. because they know that this is the trigger of Africa. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where we are, and I appreciate my brother here, African yeah. China. African China! <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for coming, you. man. You don't even want to hear you because I know. You always say, you say it like this. You know? <laughs> uh, first of all, I want to say uh, I give God the glory for giving us life. Um, and also, I want to thank God for your life, too. I want to thank God for your strength. I want to thank God for everybody that has supported you. Because um, a whole lot of people have been asking African China, African China, you know, why don't you go into politics? And I said to them, I'm an activist. And they said, yes, we know, but, you know, since you've been talking about these things and there's no change, why don't you people go there and change it? Now I, I'm proposing you to the people. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know? Because everybody has been asking me, what's my take, what's my take? 
is my take. Mm. Just like right. Don right. Right. Just like Duncan said when he said, um, it's not about the party, but it's about the person, the mindset. And the, 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 what I know, what I know about politicians, I have scanned you, and trust me, the politician is there. Yeah. And I stand for the youth of this country to tell them, listen, this is the real change. Let's change the change. Because today I discovered that a whole lot, um, last, last debate with uh, channels, same thing happened. Mm -hmm. And they did this one with the NT again, no sound. Yes. And I'm like, why? Mm -hmm. Why? Because they do not want the people, the youth out there. It's all about a whole lot of you and I there. Not to hear. Because when you know here, you don't know what's in them yeah. talk. Yeah. And I pray this court will come out, a clearer court will come out and will be shown because it's not some some of our, our mama they, they're not the social media yeah. they're not on social media but i pray you as a young guy you will help us talk to your mom to the car of rice no be your problem mm -hmm. and it has never been any of our problem yeah we've been sending money back home for our parents to take care of themselves their illness and all that so after four years, somebody now remember your mother with two dairy cow price. Please tell your mom to stay out. You can do better. Please. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's wow. Right. You can do better. Mm -hmm. You know? And I love the area when you stood your grounds about um, electricity. Yes. Truly when that lady asked. A whole lot of questions I wanted to ask. Yes. They've already asked it and that was why I kept quiet. And I don't want to look stupid you know after Physical. somebody yeah i copy care somebody just asked this question and i had to go back because you've answered you answered yeah. those questions and there's another thing you did again you know if you i don't know if you took note all the questions that were asked from the crowd when you're about to answer those questions and hit the nail the lady tries to stop you and i love the way you always make Which sure I, you finish yes, <laughs> and that because what they are trying to do is to see your flaws mm -hmm. see your mm -hmm. mistakes so that they can that always have is. something yes and there was um this comment she made that said um you said you will uh what was that thing again you said you will uh, uh you will increase the tax yes that you you said no I, you said I rebuke it. <laughs> that was the comment. Yes, he said you rebuke it, and you see, sometimes these people try to put words into your mouth so that they will use it to Instant. rope you. I said you said. Yeah. I said you said. But I thank you for. I thank God for His grace upon your life, and thank God for the knowledge that you have. And that's one thing I want to tell the youth. If you not do one, you go do one. Mm -hmm. We keep sitting down and we we'll just keep blaming the old ones and we keep telling them not them fault, not they no send us. But this time around, I think a Messiah has come. Yeah. A Messiah has come, and I want you people to know that this is the Messiah. Mm -hmm. In case you must know, I am not doing this because of one error. I am not. I yeah, have sure. never collected a dime, and I will not. Right. Yeah. But I'm doing it for my children. I have a ten-year-old and I have a six-year-old daughter. Some of them are so beautiful. I keep looking at them when I look at them like this. I see my my first, and my second. They're so brilliant. And yeah. I look at them and I ask myself. So when these children finish school, now what are they going to do now? Anything where it's put for ground, and now they will continue from. So as you mean, don't turn a hairdresser. And then we'll go to <laughs> and then go school finish. A whole lot of a lot of us out there. You guys out there, you are graduates. Mm -hmm. And and writing a Ken affair. And you're driving a Ken affair. Yeah. The no. best job they can they can offer you and I is um, security job, uh, 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 receptionists. And, and and sales boy in the hotel. It graduated. Like what I was saying today that they fight against minimum wage for workers. 
when they earn maximum wage. Exactly. Mm. You know, yes. You yeah. know, so they go for the highest. You know, the salary of a senator is for a month is the salary of a minimum a wage minimum earner for thirty eight years, thirty thousand. And, yeah, they are, it's, and it's, it's the people that are earning the highest that is questioning the people who well, that we are proposing to pay 100,000 mm -hmm. naira to. My people, you don't pay for yeah. people for talk of English, people know your English, what who broke out, who broke out, you did pay for. You did para me, they annoy me because me myself, I know how old I did when I did hear. I could remember, I, I remember those uh, when Nigeria was 25, when we go uh, mm -hmm. this in. Uh, uh, TBS, mm -hmm. Nigeria is 25. The all three did survive. Arise, salute the nation. Come join the celebration. The people united will never fall. The sun will shine. The rain will fall. On our mind. Wow. So today, I don't see that brightness again. Mm. Rather than darkness now at the work I inside. Oh. And it hurts me. The media, they shut us down. Because why? With the job, everybody one day associate, they want to be very close to politicians. Somebody come up and call himself honorable, you're going to look at like Messiah. You know, the Messiah, he's actually working for you. He did work for you. Not the let people they take you for granted. There is nothing honorable. Not the Siam like Messiah. Not this beggar for peanuts. Because at the end of the day, now points he go give you. Now, all day on this election time now, now they, they drop bulk. But after this election, you don't go near that gate again. Because for Mopo, they get. SSS, they get. You don't go even. That gate, if you pass on two times, they go ask you to fine. You see, but now that they allow you to enter compound. So, my brother, think twice. Now you owe your future now. Now you owe your future. Anything where you like. Talk. But talk, they cheat. Mm. But trust me, don't believe me, go so far. We all will suffer if we make the same mistake again. God bless you. God bless Nigeria. Wow. wow. So, I think I come for Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There was the question where I asked if you were for presidential, or for that place. When we say people, they wonder, say, I actually not doing this one, I just got the right. <laughs> then we say, they ask and say, this one, we say, we know, say, the thing we would call education, mm -hmm. now actual indoctrination. Yes, yes. What's it been indoctrination? Instead, maybe they open your heart. Me, if suppose they think for yourself, yeah. all the thing, all the school where they build all over the world. Now, for me, we for they be able to think for ourselves. Yes. But the one way they give us for here, now for me, for they do as they tell us. Yes, so now, in, yeah. indoctrination. Anybody wake talk say you go go school, spend all those years, carry cardboard, come out, make they, they can find job where they go to take talk say minimum wage. Mm -hmm. Then the person don't like you. Yes. If the person like you, then go we'll make you independent so that you could feed grow opportunity from under your own feet. Now African China be this, you know, you know, you know where they find work. He mm -hmm. get his own gift from him, but he will say he be brand for you. Yes, People true. go look at the day so they say, okay, I beg, just come mention the name of my product, make her forgive you. Because they, they respect her mm -hmm. because of him discipline. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You wake up one morning, become African China, now practice. Yes. You know, I know they there when they master in arts. You don't master in art, finish, don't become a brand. And you become brand, finish, in picture alone on top bag, that bag will cost past any bag when you get any picture. Mm -hmm. Now, because of discipline. So, if you get education, you go day and light to know how to market yourself to the world, to make life better than people did before. See, we know if you come out entertainment for Nigeria matter. Because no matter how rich we get, when you they make person happy now, like it's when they make person happy now. The way they communicate with your spirit, when they make you, they listen to what they talk to you from inside. So I they ask um, uh, uh, the question for there. We say, how we go take begin to re-engineer yeah. the way we will be well, doing things. We say, we go to be, we'll be in the indoctrination. Mm -hmm. We say, for people who just they talk nonsense, no go talk say na him be erudition. What be erudition? People will be say they, they don't think well before they talk. The thing where they come talk, come they open the eyes of every oh, other person when they hear what they talk. Open their mind. No, we say we just hear people they talk yama yama because they don't they don't steal money. You know, you go watch TV, you go watch to watch news, listen to politicians. You go they wonder say how this one take become leader for this mm -hmm. kind of country. We say we get talented people. And then I come they talk to you again. How we again we say success. The meaning of success. You go change them. We will say, you know, go be waiting uh, success. You go be saying somebody who don't steal money, who don't buy big car, they live for big house. That's not the success. Success will be say the thing where they do, it inspire people where you don't even know at all. 
If one count how many people we know African China or don't come mighty or show what they right now, we now not fit count them finish. People we know even feel no yeah. because they don't hear a message, they don't appreciate a message, they know what he stand for and they respect them because of that. So how are these not saying shame for inside in government if you become president? How you go take you know make this thing they very serious? How critical you go make this social engineering day? How they ask and say so you go prioritize them. If say everybody could begin say I will no say for my society, not the only me the guesses. Yeah. Everybody they think right. Because in some society, some of them, if you not talk say this thing no good, everybody go cost now. Say who well, now you, you own too much, you don't read the back of book finish. But if say in a yeah, government they will say they will put everybody where else. So national orientation as we get on that thing. The song will just sing that now. Now the song will they hear will they inspire us as we they grow up with that. That's why our generation better part the generation when it comes to. We know they do your whole that time. We know they do all these funny, funny things. We they build ourselves, they read our book, they do exam, they pass up. And we know get lesson teacher. So now the thing we say, I ask you that. Say, you tell Nigerians, how you go take, make sure, say, all the generation where they come from behind. Mm -hmm. When would they go, go uh, when we go grow old? When we go get, picking, when we say, when we go get sex? You know, how will the government will take, make sure, say, education work? When we say, the meaning of uh, 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 nation building, go they in, 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 impacted into yeah. the people who say, we don't go in, in them. In our, our character. And our character. And the thing why they ask me that. Well, uh, the thing where they call value reorientation with that, yes. you know, because we don't lose our value for yes. this country. And now because people will the now the wrong people where we they praise, now the wrong people where they give shit and sit to this one, not be only for our education system, for our cultural system, for our religious system, everything they want. Mm -hmm. And we will change our you know, now make me they talk about consequences that time when you talk about corruption because mm -hmm. somewhere if I we won't talk up for that place what time you know, they say it will reach point where we will create corruption reserve for this country so that we will place pictures of <laughs> all the corrupt people say nah Baba Lida be new with this nah this one uh, this thing with that you know nah boring you know streets with this for and we will really take some of the things put for glass where they steal. That's how countries change their values is by mobilizing shame against things that are wrong yeah. and you know giving commendation and promoting things that are right and here we are only promoting things that are wrong you know but we appreciate you guys coming on the couch with me tonight it was supposed to be a long one but we've all been out for yeah. so long uh guys we will uh, be taking a break and we'll be back uh but if you are there and you watched us and you liked it or you would think there's something you can do to help please we don't have much time left continue to donate and support the movement you have uh, donation uh, accounts pinned to this uh, the, the, the page i'm sure you know you can see that we are competing very well and like i said during my final submission tonight when i was asked that last question that you know if you lose the election would you concede Say if this election is free and fair, there's no way we can lose to Buhari, there's no way we can lose to Atiku, and there's no way we can lose to any of our competitors. We are out to win and we're on the path to victory. You know, thank you guys a lot and uh, have a great night. And of course, we'll be back here very soon. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Action. And yes. <laughs>